So learning all this music theory allows us to be able to use much more ways of playing music and much more ways of looking at sheet music. Learning how music works will help any musician in every way. Speaking music. Now there's actually three main types of sheet music that you're gonna find, although some people would just say there's only one. But they're all different types of sheet music, in my opinion. First way is chord charts. Now a chord chart is sheet music. It's showing us on a sheet what the music is. But it's definitely the bare minimum that you typically have. What you typically have is the chords and usually lyrics. Sort of unusual to have a chord chart if you don't have any um, words in the song. So you would have the lyrics and the chords. Sometimes you'll have something designating like how many measures it is, but usually not. It'll usually just be the chords will be over the words where you change the chord. So this doesn't really tell you what key you're in usually. You have to know based on the chords like this one. We have an A an E, an F sharp minor, and a D. So typically the first chord is often the key you're in. So we're assuming that we're in A. Now let's just plug in the chords in the scale of A and see if that works. So it'd be A, B minor, C sharp minor, D, E, F sharp minor, and then um, G sharp diminished. And this fits in really well. We have an A, we have the E, we have the D, and we have the F sharp. So we would say this is a one, five, six, four pattern that's going on and on. So that's the key we're in. It's just showing you that. Um, and it has some drawbacks, like it doesn't show you all the timing, it doesn't show you the melody of the note, so you really have to know the song before you can play the song. This comes us to our second um, way of sheet music, and that is lead sheets. By far my favorite um, way of playing music for a few reasons. So what we have here is we have... Oh, here we go. Um, it tells us what clef we're playing in. Very nice to know. It tells us if there's any sharps or flats, which will tell you if it's in the key, what key you're in. Um, usually it will show you what the timing is. Um, if not, it's usually 4-4 four, four timing. Should give you the chords on top, the melody with full timing and everything right in the clef. Then it gives you the lyrics. So what this does, it's, it's the bare minimum of everything you need. So it tells you the timing so you can play the melody even if you've never heard it before. It gives you the um, lyrics so someone can just grab a sheet and sing along. But it allows a lot of musicians to play together and grab their part that they need. But it doesn't actually tell every musician exactly what they should play. The bass player knows that these are the chords, so that's mostly what they're going to play, but they can also play other notes from the chord as bass also. Um, the guitarists know what chords they are, but they also know the melody, so they can actually throw that in from here and there. Um, it allows so much creativity to flow through um, musicians who know how to use it but it doesn't tell you exactly the arrangement you should play. So a lot of creativity and artistic um, flavor should come through. Um, and then we come to the last thing, which would be full on sheet music. So this gives you the same thing as the last one. Gives you what clef you're in, there's the treble clef, here's the bass clef, here's the treble clef, here's the bass clef. Tells you if there's any sharps or flats, so this is showing you that we're in the key of two sharps, which is D. Tells you the timing, this is 3-4 timing. It also gives you the dynamics, if they have that, and some words of how to play it. The chords, and now we have, um, this is telling us what these clefs are for. So this is for singing, soprano, and the bass, so a four-part harmony. 
And then down here, it's piano. So this is the arrangement that the piano should be playing in the treble clef and the bass clef. So this is telling you exactly what you should be playing for this song. Um, if you haven't played the song and you're doing it for something more professional, you just have to do it on the spot, you pretty much usually want to have sheet music so that you actually play what they want. Um, whereas if you're just playing together um, and you have a little bit more freedom to express yourself, a uh, lead sheet may be more desirable. But this will tell you exactly every note that you should be playing in sheet music. So what I don't love about normal sheet music is, um, say you are a intermediate pianist and there's a song that you really like and you go and find the sheet music, the piano sheet music for the song. Now there's a good chance that that song um, didn't have piano in it um, or wasn't the main instrument. There's usually many instruments that make up our modern songs. So you go buy the piano sheet music for this song and you get something like this where a musician um, or someone like me made up what the piano should be for this song. And the problem is it's just that one person or a group of people's interpretation of it and it's not going to be able to incorporate the drums, the guitars, the, all the instruments that are creating this song that you want in just one instrument. So I usually go towards lead sheets because I already know the song if I'm looking it up. I want to play it a certain way and this just tells me the critical information for me to make that decision on my own. So any way that you would like to play music, you can find chord charts for practically free for almost any music, um, but it doesn't give you everything. It's a little bit harder to find lead sheets. You usually have to buy them because it took someone probably a long time to create it. And you can also find she music for a lot of them, which will also usually cost money, but it may not be exactly what the song is or it's just going to be one interpretation of that another great thing about the smallest sheet so like a chord chart is it's so compact that you can usually get a full song on just one page or two same thing with lead sheets since you only have one line and the melody then you can usually get in a very small um small page so you're not going to be turning lots and lots and lots of pages whereas sheet music where it's taking up all this room for just one line sometimes you'll have many many pages you have to flip through which can sometimes take away from your experience and your performance in playing that music um, i hope this helps you out with getting the music that you want so that you can play it the way you've always wanted to Learn more about music theory in a simple and practical way on our website in our full music theory book. In it, we teach about the keys, the chords, transposing, modes, and the basics of sheet music. Speaking Music